everyone, this is Spiky Drummer, and I'm kind of excited about today's lesson because it's something a little bit different than what we've been doing lately. It's uh, kind of a, uh, a fresh new experience with these lessons because I know we spent a whole lot of time talking about fast double bass and quick endurance and how to storm the gates with so on and so forth. And uh, that is something that we're not going to talk about today. So today I thought we would do something totally different and move to a completely slow speed and uh, work a little bit more on the coordination side of things. Let us move now to the throne. Alright, so before we get started, uh, I just wanted to remind you all that uh, this is going to be a totally different kind of double bass playing than how we've done in the past with the, the higher double bass speeds. Uh, we're not going to be working with a slide, and we're not going to be working with uh, further back uh, ankle playing for the higher speeds. Uh, this is going to be more of a, a swifter motion with the whole leg. Um, you're going to be keeping your ankles uh, uh, as a pivotal point, but you're going to be doing most of the power work with your legs. And the reason for this is you're going to have a whole lot more power and control at slower speeds. Alright, so I'm going to show you two different patterns that are really going to help you out with this. And the first one's really easy, and it only works with the right hand and the double bass, and everything else is kind of on autopilot. Alright, so in this pattern you're going to be playing uh, your average double bass pattern, right, left, right, left over a 6-8. And uh, basically you're just going to be counting with your right hand on the right. If we were going to just isolate the right, it would be like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now the only thing we're going to change that's going to make things a little bit more difficult is uh, add a few more hits into the ride and it's going to give it kind of a, like a stutter feel. Uh, and it's going to break that groove up a little bit and I'll show you what we're going to do. And when you throw that over the double bass pattern, it sounds like this. Because you're moving from a pattern of matching your right bass leg, and you'll, you'll find that out as you're playing this rhythm, is that your right is matching the right bass leg until you do those uh, extra hits, and then all of a sudden you're thrown off of the pattern. So it kind of gives you a little bit of a coordination issue to work through and a time issue. Then when you understand how to do that completely, then you'll be ready to move on to the next step that I'm getting ready to show you. We're going to be keeping the same bass pattern through the whole thing. This one is actually counted in 6-8 six, six, as well. However, it's not going to be as, uh, as literal as our first beat. Uh, and the reason being is we're going to be actually changing the ride pattern over to a, uh, a bell tip, bell tip pattern. Basically, you're just going to be hitting the bell and then the tip, bell and the tip like this. Remember to keep that 6-8 pattern going by uh, uh, hitting your uh, snare on 4. And you're going to be counting the same way we did before. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And here's what it's going to sound like. Alright, so now that you understand that pattern, uh, that's going to give you the basis for what we're getting ready to do to it. Keep that fresh in your memory because we're going to be coming back to it very shortly, but now we're going to be working with the snare. And this is where the difficult part comes in because you're going to be incorporating all four limbs and getting that uh, feeling of uh, limb separation and uh, getting independence in each limb. Uh, now what you're going to be doing with your snare on your left hand is, is quite simple, but when you incorporate it into the rest of the beat it gets kind of confusing. So, But it's just uh, very simple, it's just one, two, three, one, two, three, four. It's a fairly straightforward rhythm, and when you combine that with a 6-8 pattern, then it gets a little bit tricky. So we're going to apply the double bass to that, and remember we're not doing anything special with the double bass, it's just a double bass line right underneath it, and uh, you just do it like this. Alright, so now we've got these three limbs going, they're uh, uh, kind of thinking on their own. Now it's time to add the right hand, and that's going to throw another wrench into the gears and confuse everything again. I'm going to be playing a 6-8 pattern on the right, and it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, just like this. Now we're starting to migrate back to that uh, drum beat we worked on just a minute ago with the bell on the right. And the only reason that I haven't added the bell on the right yet is because it's going to get a little bit trickier and you need to kind of understand the beat and the way it's going to sound while playing in the 6-8 time box. And then we're going to go ahead and add the bell and the tip again. And uh, <clears throat> here's where it gets tricky. So here's what it's going to sound like when you add the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 on the right. Now when you've become familiar with the way that we're going to be playing this entire beat, the very last step 
The only thing you're going to be changing now is adding that bell and tip on the ride that we've already done. And uh, this is the final confuser, and then once you have it, then you've got this beat. So, this is what you're going to sound like when you add that bell tip in there. This is what it's going to sound like. And if you wanted to go an extra mile and uh, tease your brain a little bit longer, then you can just uh, change the bell tip, bell tip, to tip bell, tip bell. So you're going to be leading off with the tip of the ride and then the bell. So it's going to sound like this. The beat is exactly the same, just going to be leading off from the opposite of the bell, just the tip. So just like this. Alright, so I hope this helps you out. I know this may have appealed a little bit more to the progressive side of your heart, and that's good because you need to keep progressive and speed together because that's a very important thing in music. So, uh, again, separate your limbs and uh, keep them separated. That's a really good and important thing with your drumming. So, <clears throat> anyways, I hope this helps you out. I hope this boosts your endurance, your speed, your power, your progression, and everything else. And I will see you again. Blah, 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 blah. Look at that.